Mike Leonard Insurance Agency has served the communities in the North Texas Metroplex area for over 40 years. We're an independent agency, which gives us the opportunity to shop among a number of larger, nationally known companies without sacrificing coverage. If you haven't shopped for a better car or home insurance lately, give us a call or check out our website. You will be shocked at how much more your current company may be overcharging you. Mike Leonard Insurance, we're local, independent, and we're here for you. Texas and uh, and for them to you know be on the same page with the dream uh, tells you how I'm married and how my kids are and uh, so to answer your question we had no idea but the day I laid eyes on them and said let's go to work that's when I knew we had a chance to win and I met the people in Anna and they were they were a, a very competitive group and uh, we're just excited to be in the community that loves winning. Well, we were trying to get everybody on the field, and uh, and defense didn't want. They're mostly seniors. Nobody wanted to come off, but I had one more that I had to get on. And Coach Ramos wanted to shut out, and I said, and "They got to go a long way." You know, so we got to get somebody in, and uh, so we had a good little RA. It couldn't have ended any better for me and him fighting at the last two minutes. I hope everybody got that on film, but. Uh, but we're just trying to get everybody in, and the reason the defense is so competitive is because of him and his competitive drive. So whatever he tries to do, he tries to win. So if it's from track and field to uh, you know Christmas parties to poker, he thinks he's good in poker. He's not. That's the way Coach Ramos is. is he tries to win. You know, I think they're all MVPs in my opinion. Uh, I think uh, we're a collective group, but those two uh, just tough as nails. I, I think, you know, when I say that, uh, you know, we're all MVPs because their, uh, their uh, tenacity and their instinct and their willingness to do what it takes to win, that's throughout our whole program as far as uh, guys. So, you know, they're leaders because they show it and they're the example. And uh, both of them are just tough as nails. 
Oh, winners too, if you want me to describe them, they're winners. This is a question for both the players, but just talk about what this win means for you and your careers and just the team in general. Oh, it's huge. Uh, the new coaching staff is really, like, I don't know, brought their hit game when they came into town. Uh, they changed the whole culture of the town. We went from losing town to a 2-8 and eight record. To go on 7-3 and three, and then 13-1 last year and then to win the state championship. Four years ago, I don't think we would have ever envisioned this, and uh, I think everyone just bought in. And then lastly, I just like to thank my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for letting us give us the opportunity to be here. It's our senior year, so winning state is, is crazy, so get your dream up pretty much. And then coming in from our freshman year, 2-8, to now winning state is just <laughs> Any guys in college programs that had to pick these guys up to play just uh, flat out crazy. You know, a lot of people nowadays uh, look for measurements, but uh, they're winners and they, they have the measurements. So we got a lot of good football players here to challenge these coaches not to look at just the guys that, uh, that have already been to places, but look at these high school kids. They got a responsibility to continue to grow football. And, uh, and I think it's up to the college coaches to give these guys opportunities in order to be able to go to the next level. You know, So I challenge all the coaches in the state and coaches around the United States, don't just look at that portal, you better start looking at high school kids or you're not going to have a football uh, game in the future because you're not making it about the younger guys, you're just keeping it about retread. So uh, uh, give these other guys a chance. Y'all talked about the mentality change. Oh yeah, the first day we came into town, you could just tell like whole difference. Uh, used to we used to go out on the field and just try to get by. Now it's we either win or that's it. There's no really other option, and I think that's the big thing when he came into town. This whole culture change. How did it feel to play your last four games, four games in this fashion? Yeah, Brian, you ain't heard top of the I make him come in here because he's so shy, but uh, Sean is somebody that's selfless in our program and, you know, somebody if I need something, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call him to do it and get it to us. And three years of uh, hard work and uh, somebody that uh, brings life to us. I know y'all probably can't see it right here, but uh, he brings life the way he plays. Uh, we always said, uh, what you say is speak so loudly, I cannot hear what you say. And what he says with his uh, uh, tenacity when he plays a game speaks loudly. I do want to say one thing. I was told that air raid offenses couldn't, could not win a championship because they couldn't play defense. I also want to prove that theory is wrong. Woo! We did win. So thank you. Sure, Hal. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you.